freelance as a drama teacher, and, but mostly full-time mother. Maeve is six, she's in primary one this year. Paige is three. Very, very different personalities. I had just given birth to Paige, four-month-old baby, and then Maeve would get these tummy aches. Every time I was nursing her sister, she would suddenly have a tummy ache. So we thought maybe it was attention-seeking as well. And then we decided that things were not quite right when I offered her chocolate. She didn't want chocolate. And that is like her favourite food. We asked the PD, what should we do, like what's happening? And then the PD's wife actually, who is also a PD, suggested that um, we bring her for at least a, you know, a checkup with a specialist. I think by the next day, they said, sorry, we have to proceed to surgery, it's not working. And then they say, oh, we'll just, we'll just uh, bi you know, biopsy that lump that we found in the intestines. But it should be nothing, it's just, you know, sort of like a one in a million chance there'll be something. They didn't even say what that something was. They found that it was cancerous and it was um, Burkitt's lymphoma and it was spreading very rapidly. So she was healing from that tummy surgery. And we said, okay, so um, what, what happens next? Then say we have to start chemotherapy. She felt so betrayed by mum and dad because like, you know, mummy and daddy are the ones supposed to protect you, but they allowed these, well, seemingly bad people do all these horrible things to you. And mummy and daddy didn't do anything about it. So the first thing she did when she woke up from the surgery was she whacked my husband. And my husband just let her do it because she needed to get it out, I think. Overnight, that night, when I just sat down and wrote in, the, in, in my full skip that I brought and I wrote a story about a stone that existed in a little girl. And then, you know, you had to uh, send in brave soldiers to fight these bad stones that kept multiplying and all that. And then, obviously, you know, the person in charge of this battle was the brave princess. So that's how the storybook came about. After that, then, obviously, she was well enough to go back to school. I mean, we started a new school for her. She talked to her kindergarten teacher, said, Oh, my mummy wrote a story for me, you know. The teacher called me and said, I actually have a friend who is a doctor and she wants to illustrate books. And then this, this doctor illustrator, she called me, she said, Can I illustrate your book? I said, Sure, but no guarantee it'll be published because I had no intention of publishing it. And she said, Let me just try. So I said, Sure. And you know, it turned out exactly as I drew it. My main intention after the books got published, every child who needs a book like that can have access to a book like that and be brave as well so that they can take charge of their own battles. It's, it's in various parts of Africa. It's also in Vietnam, it's in Cambodia, it's in Myanmar. One of my ex-students, he asked for permission to use the story because he thought that, you know, it, it coincides with Christmas. It's a story of hope. That was quite something when I went to start watching rehearsals and all that. I'm like, and suddenly I'm confronted with that struggle two years ago. I always had to be a cheerful person for my daughter. I could not I could not grieve that my daughter had cancer. I could not grieve about the fact that my daughter may actually die. That musical actually gave me permission to cry. It was cathartic that way. This musical has a way of touching lives because everybody has somebody with cancer or struggling. It needs a bigger platform for people who you know, know somebody with cancer, they want to know how to handle this, what this is all about, what is the journey with cancer like? And also for people who, who maybe don't know much about cancer and they want to know more. See who wants to journey with us, who wants to come on board, you know, in various capacities, who wants to act with us. We feel that, you know, like, it's something that's meaningful to you, then you know, come on board. My name is Joanne Poon and I'm the mother of Brave Maeve.